Got to build a boat blind. I've had a, uh, the material and I did build a, a blind for my kayak and it worked quite well. And in doing that, I, I found that uh, hunting out of my boat, I almost need a blind for it. But I'm going to do some of it similar to what I did and a little bit different material. So what I've got is I bought a spool on uh, Amazon, a spool of uh, camo bungee cord. Stuff's really good. I've bought three or four spools of this for different things here recently, but uh, that's one of the things. I bought some some of these car big giant carabiners. When it's cold, you're wearing gloves, M messing with the little bitty carabiners to hook uh, onto your boat, hook onto uh, whatever, and set this blind up. Uh, I found that these big jumbo ones, I think they're called the jumbo, I bought them on Amazon. Uh, they're not uh, climbing carabiners, they're more recreational stuff, but uh, they're going to work really well for that. Uh, some tea fittings that I bought at Lowe's, my favorite store. Second favorite store, I guess. Uh, Cabela's ranks right up there with them. These irrigation teas, these are just plastic uh, hose barb tea fittings. And what I do with them is I take these, uh, these were orange. These are your snow marker stakes that go alongside your driveway. Uh, so that uh, you don't snow plow into uh, your grass and stuff. But I took uh, camo duct tape and I covered them. They look like an arrow now, almost like an arrow shaft. But what I do is I run this bungee cord down through, down through the center of this, like that. And then this T-fitting is, uh, the bungee cord gets covered with, fabric which I'm going to show you in a minute but I use these snow snow marker sticks to hold this up and these just basically sit on the floor the other end of it sits on the floor of the boat and uh, props it up like a tent uh, from there we get uh, uh, the effect and we've also got the spring of the bungee the material that I'm going to use on this I just bought off of eBay the other day and it came in the mail yesterday and this is a waterproof backing I bought plenty of it so I can do a whole bunch of stuff but it's a camo woodland camo and it's uh, 500 denier I think it's called um, came from a place I believe of on the East Coast Southeast somewhere in North Carolina maybe but it's very, uh, very lightweight, sewable. I can put it in a sewing machine and, and uh, hem the edges and stuff like that. But I can also uh, use this as a wind block and to keep us dry. And, and the biggest part is to keep us hidden. Pretty good looking stuff. And it's waterproof. That's what I really like. Carabiner. Hook onto my light bar. T fittings. I've got these that I uh, made for my kayak and I covered them with that camo tape. Uh, but I also I cut them off because my kayak is low to the water and the idea is to stay low profile as possible. I cut these off. I cut about six or eight inches off of them in length. I think they're four foot overall. In my boat, I think I might need that extra length. So I'm going to go with brand new ones that aren't cut off. And we'll see. Uh, where that ends up taking us. I may get away with using those other ones. I think what I'm going for is to have the height of the top of this blind at or about the top of my head, my hat. Yeah, I think that might work. 
basically I uh, tied that in a half a knot, half hitch knot, and I put a zip tie across it just to kind of hold it in place so that both both these strands end up being equal length all the way to the back. Um, if you come here you can see how these T fittings just slide down over the top of these uh, snow marker sticks. As we come back to the back here, what I've done is I've just done a square knot out of these bungees. I'm going to untie those eventually so that I can take them off and run the, run the bungee through the hem of the material. That's going to be just the right height. That's going to work pretty good. I'm going to kill myself. Man dies falling out of a boat in the garage. Just put some painter's tape on the uh, bungee cord so that when I take this off, I know where those T's need to go. So I'm just marking the uh, bungee cord kind of temporarily with some painter's tape. another look here. Here's what it looks like from down the middle. Try and use these cans of paint to my advantage. Handy dandy little plastic clamps that I'm going to use to uh, hold it where I want. It's not going to cut very good. Silver Sharpie. Easy to see on something that's black. Now I just got to start marking and I'm going to do one side at a time. Just going to mark them and pin them and uh, take them in and get the edges sewn and stuff before I do any trimming and cutting. It doesn't need to be down this low. Obviously that would be in the water. So I'll cut it so that it's about six, eight inches down and uh, maybe put something in there for a, a weight of some sort 
Uh, I don't know yet, but I want something that's going to help hold it taut. And uh, work in progress.